Meantime, here on the Central Coast, one neighborhood trying to find answers tonight after a crime spree that left 20 cars burned or vandalized. Members of the community met with law enforcement to talk about the incident. Action News reporter Lauren Seaver was there. She's live in Santa Cruz with more. Yeah, Dan, more than 100 people gathered at the Rio Sands Hotel in Aptos, hoping to get their questions answered from local law enforcement. Meanwhile, local law enforcement were hoping that the community had answers for them. We're concerned about our safety, and this was a, a, such a huge thing. You know, 20 cars vandalized, it was, it's very frightening. When you start burning down cars, you could burn down a neighborhood. This is dangerous. Aptos locals are concerned about a recent crime spree right in their backyard. The week before Thanksgiving, 20 vehicles in the Rio Del Mar area were either smashed with a baseball bat or set on fire. Arson is very rare. And uh, when you have three arson cases occur within about a 10 minute period, it is unsettling for law enforcement and for the community. He says a normally very quiet community. So many people jumped at the chance to hear from local law enforcement. It shows a lot of community cohesive uh, cooperation. When you have people from the community show up uh, for something like this, it shows that they're interested and they want to get involved and they want to get information. Information like officers finding a broken baseball bat, a gas can, and burned road flares in the bed of a Dodge pickup. Also, that four full time officers are working to solve the case. But Santa Cruz County Sheriff elect Jim Hart says it wasn't only about giving information. In this case, we've actually got some good information uh, from people who attended this that might, might help us solve these crimes. Many people stood up and commented on something out of the ordinary they had seen or suspicious people on their block. One man even pledged a thousand dollar reward for anyone with information that leads to an arrest. The sheriff's office matched it with an extra thousand. A community desperately seeking answers and hoping their answers can help lead to an arrest. Oh, I hope they find out who did it. I hope that uh, whoever they are will wake up and realize the trauma that they've caused. Now, the sheriff elect tells me all 20 cars that were vandalized were parked out on the street, so he encourages everyone to park in their driveway or in their garage. He also says keep your exterior light lights on and never be afraid to call 911. Dan. All right, Lauren, thank you. The total damage of the vehicles has been estimated at at least $100,000. The sheriff's office believes the random act, it is a random act, it may have been done by juveniles, but the investigation continues.